Welcome to the Traffic Domination Podcast, where entrepreneurs come for traffic answers. And here are your hosts, Rob Reese and Wayne Pro. Right, let's go. All right. Ready? Hello, guys, and welcome to the Traffic Domination Podcast. My name is Rob Reese, and <laughs> this is. <laughs> Oh, Wayne Crump, I'm Wayne Crump today. <laughs> awesome, great to have you here, guys. And the reason we introduced it like that is because when me and Rob first met, I was just his voice, his charisma, everything about him, the way he is on the on the podcasts, and that's kind of exactly why we started the podcast. Because for me, it was like trying something new, seeing if I can come come outside my comfort zone. And Rob absolutely loves doing this type of thing, and he's fantastic at it. So this podcast is re really all about podcasts, how to start your own. Rob's history, if you like, his background, and um, his what he plans in the future, and really getting to know more about Rob Reese. So Rob, um, how did you get into? Because this is about how do you find out you're good at something like this? Well, first, I, I just want to say thank you so much for that introduction. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I gotta say, Wayne. I gotta say, Wayne. You know, uh, ever since ever since we decided to partner up on this, you as a person behind the mic have grown so much. So I do I do want to commend you on yeah, that because well. you've you've opened up quite a bit, and ultimately, that's what this is all about: is being as open as you possibly can uh, with within reason uh, on a yeah. podcast because you're essentially bearing yourself out to uh, you know however many people are listening and it can be quite unnerving yeah uh, but i wasn't i wasn't always like this you know i i've always had an outgoing personality i've always been considered an extrovert so that certainly tends to help uh it the in the idea that that i've been able to do so well at speaking and engaging an audience behind a microphone. Uh, yeah. But uh, it still didn't remove the real fear that I had when I first started. And part of my story, uh, Wayne, is uh, I grew up in New York. I moved to New Jersey and I loved, I absolutely loved heavy metal. Okay. So uh, I still love heavy metal. Uh, that was kind of my music growing up. Uh, I grew up around classic rock, hard rock, kind of uh, that that kind of mode. I always hated rap. I, I like rap now, but but I always hated it when I was young, and I was kind of the hard rock kind of guy. And uh, I I loved listening to this one radio station. And back home in on the East Coast, uh, we had a radio station called K Rock. It was the you know uh, commercial radio station ter terrestrial radio uh um uh, howard stern was yeah. on that radio station uh in the mornings uh so it was very popular and i grew up listening to the music that they aired on there uh however they played some of the more softer rock sometimes the stuff that i was like ah, oh, these guys are posers <laughs> so i had to look for an alternative and uh, the only al other alternative was this true heavy metal where the guys are screaming their head off you can barely understand the things that they're singing about uh and of course people would say they're they're not even singing they're just screaming That's their wrong. heads off they're, they're like angry at <laughs> angry at everything okay uh and the radio station although it was part of a university and eventually i would I would end up attending this university. It was a, a university radio station. However, it is the only university radio station in the entire nation that's actually considered an actual radio station as a professional one, whatever, whatever, you know, your local, you know, popular radio station is, they yeah. were considered on that level. They had a wow. beyond a multi-million dollar studio. Uh, they had all of the biggest uh, heavy metal s stars come in to do interviews and and the, the whole nine, okay? Yeah. Uh, and and I was like, I absolutely love this. I, I would I followed them. I would always call into the radio station and and make requests. I would win you know tickets to concerts and stuff. And I said, I want to be part of this. So I ended up going to Seton Hall University. Okay, it's a pretty big university here in the states. Uh, they're big for basketball uh, and, of course, the radio station. 
and I went to the college, to the university, strictly to be part of the radio station. And of course, you have to go through this entire process before getting on the radio. And it's my first day on the radio, and I sounded like garbage, okay? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, you literally, you literally could hear the shivering in my voice. If ever there is a point of where you thought I was going to get killed or something, it was in that moment <laughs> behind the microphone because there was so much dead air. And that's like the cardinal sin in radio is dead air. If you're not talking, people are turning that station and you're losing ratings. Uh, but but I had to get over that fear. And uh, even though I was an extrovert, there's still that that reality of fear. So I got involved in it. And ultimately, the biggest the biggest help uh, for for getting initially, you know, over that is just defeating your fear by doing it. Uh, if, if you are passionate about something, I don't care what it is. If you love it, you're gonna determine to defeat that fear and do something about it. And if you have a desire to do podcasting, to do internet marketing, whatever it may be, live video, uh, you're gonna figure out a way to do it and just do it. Uh, you're gonna be scared. It's gonna come off. People will notice. <laughs> and it's a matter of it's a matter of not caring and doing it anyway. Yeah. That that sounds exactly like the journey I've been on with with the podcast. <laughs> so I'm about ten years behind. I don't know how old you are. Hey, there, listen, but... there, there. Th listen, I say this with all love and respect, my friend. You can tell there's some fear in you uh, in the past when we first started, yeah. but but that's slowly and surely going away. I, I mean, I'm sure our listeners even notice that there's a, a markable difference between our first episode and this episode. Yeah. Uh, you've got more energy, you've got more pop, you've got more excitement. Uh, and, and my friend, it just comes with time. It just comes with time. Exactly. That's the thing. Like in the beginning, I was like, I want it. You want to do it. And then you, you don't get excited. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, at first, like you say that fair, but over time, get more and more excited. And, you know, I think we have a great time, um, great time creating the podcasts and a great time on them. And I can see why you sort of enjoy them so much. So what is, you know, what is your ideal goal? Where, where are you going to take your podcasting kind of career if you, if you can Sure, sure. Well, I, I've actually, uh, because I've been on radio, I've done a couple of my own podcasts in the past. Uh, I, uh, you know, a lot of the audience may not know I'm a Christian. I had a Christian podcast for quite some time with my pastor uh, that got pretty large in the Christian community, um, and it was called Red Grace Radio. We don't we don't shoot it anymore, although they are in the archives, and uh, it may be resurrected again in the future. I don't know. Uh, we just got uh, tired a little bit because we were doing a lot of work behind it, and it was all volunteer. We weren't making any money at it or anything. Um, but it, it takes a lot uh, out of you, especially if you're trying to do a high-level podcast uh, with production value, interviews, the whole nine. Um, where I'm hoping to bring it, uh, because uh, we're, we're shooting this podcast, I kind of do a video podcast already on a low budget kind of level. There's no real production value other than me shooting behind either my phone or my laptop screen. But uh, I'm coming out with my own uh, internet marketing uh, podcast. Uh, I've already got the domain secured. I've got my branding secured. I've got uh, my voiceover intro done professionally done by an actual agency that does voiceovers um called the the pod affiliate podcast uh it started out as the robert reese podcast but then the the pod affiliate it's going to be really wrapped around helping affiliate marketers in everything uh that they need to do in the specifically the make money online niche all the things that they need to consider in order to grow their business from zero to six figures uh but also my ultimate goal is to help other business owners whether online or offline develop their own podcasts provide them the tools necessary 
really give them personal coaching into getting started, how they can acquire more business, more customers via that. And uh, that's going to be done via private coaching um, to where uh, within about a six to 12 week program, uh, I'm going to work them through uh, what it takes to you know, build up a quality podcast, build up listener base, how to promote their podcast to get listeners, uh, and of course, how to how to find subject matter that uh, your your clientele will care about in order to to listen to you and and hopefully get more business. Well, so you've really thought about it then. <laughs> yeah, I've got an I've got an entire outline. Uh, I actually am working right now uh, with uh, hoping to get my my very first. Uh, coaching client um, he's he's in the um, in the um, uh, mindset niche uh, of really covering all bases of of marketers it doesn't matter if it's offline or online but uh, the guy is really looking to transition from real estate into mindset um, and he's quite uh, quite uh, quite the character <laughs> uh, and uh, he wants to to get into it so um, we're we're in talks right now. We're in negotiating on what what he wants, and uh, we're seeing we're seeing if I can help him. Sounds awesome, mate. Sounds fantastic. Well, um, so if someone, I mean, I wouldn't have had the confidence, I don't think, to do one on my own. I just wouldn't have known where to start, wouldn't know what to do, um, at all. So if someone wanted to start a podcast on their own. And I think it's just something I want to do. What advice yeah. would you give those people? Sure. Well, there's there's really two types of podcasts, and you know, people can make distinctions if they want. But uh, in my mind, there's really two types of podcasts. There's one called the rant. All right, and that's the singular podcast where it's just you ranting, and and ranting it doesn't mean um, you know just complaining. It means it's a single person going on about a number of subjects, a single subject or a number of subjects. Okay. Uh, it doesn't have to be in a negative fashion. It can be in a positive fashion, but it is the fact that it's a single person. And then you have the uh, the interview style, which is this style. This is the, the two or more involved in a podcast. And I'll tell you right now, if you're interested in podcasting, the easiest and most attractive way uh, to a client base that you're going after is the interview style. It is very difficult to do a single one. It's not impossible. People have that uh, capability. There are plenty who do it really well, but there's only few who do it really well. If you can talk, if you can go on and on about a subject now, a podcast, there's a misconception that a podcast has to be a, a, a long, you know, 20, 30, 40 minute show, an hour show. You can have a podcast that's five to seven minutes. The problem is, is that if you're not an entertaining person, if you're not somebody who can talk on and on and on uh, about a particular subject, even if it's only for five to seven minutes, uh, you're going to have a real difficult time. Now, uh, you can you can overcome that. It's just a matter of being able to blueprint uh, your subjects, being ha uh, able to talk on subjects. Uh, you want to be able to ask yourself questions and provide those answers in your own conversations. It's almost like you're going to be talking to yourself, but yeah. as if somebody else is there. Uh, so if you want to get started, uh, I would highly suggest doing interview style it's a lot easier uh because you can play off one another it's like being out at a bar you're having a conversation with somebody and it's very easy to continue on a conversation path with somebody else there uh yeah. because they might say they might say something and it triggers something in your mind to ask or to add on to 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 provide more value in that conversation rather than uh doing it alone doing it alone there's going to be a lot of scripting involved you're going to have to put some points you know a lot of times wayne we've kind of you know put a list together of things that we'll talk about but we don't have to like blueprint it as much as if no. you would have to do it if you're doing it on your own uh, yeah, because if you, if, yeah yeah that's because you're very good maybe through your history and everything but you're very good at asking the right questions 
Um, that's a skill that you kind of learn as well, I suppose, over the years of doing these things. You're very good at asking the questions that you think the listeners want to hear. That's what you say. That's one thing you're really good at. That's one thing that you have to remember is put yourself in the position of the listener in an interview mode. So a lot of times I'll ask questions that I already know the answer to. However, I, I try to pretend as if I am the, the, the person who has no knowledge on that particular subject because, again, we're not doing it for our benefit. It's not, it's not a diary, all right? You're not having a diary podcast, mm-hmm. although that, there's probably a niche for that. But, but, but the, the reason we are doing this podcast is so that listeners can receive value, benefit, and, of course – uh, receive uh, instruction on problems that they're having. So I'm here constantly saying to myself, okay, what did I used to experience in terms of problems that I no longer do? And of course that, that, that makes me, if I do, if I do not know about something, I'll go and research it. And that gives me more content to actually talk about and ask questions about in the interview style. Yeah. Awesome. So when when you first started, what kind of is it just a microphone? I mean, I know when we started the amount of faff and we did because obviously completely new here to anything like this. What kind of equipment do you need? I, I'm going to pull I'm going to pull up something that is absolutely beautiful. OK, on my phone, because everybody's got one of these. Everybody has one of these pocket cell phones, right? I don't know if your people, uh, if our people can see it, but I'll, I'll, for our listeners, it's called Anchor. Okay, uh, it looks like that. I'm gonna go ahead and show you uh, in the App Store what it looks like now. It's available for both iPhone and Android. It's called Anchor. Okay, Anchor is a podcasting platform to where you use your cell phone uh, to record your podcast and here's the cool thing okay it uses the 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 microphone that's right on it you can put it up to your ear and it'll record it and you can edit it from the actual app uh there's no restriction in terms of time or anything like that uh and what it does is it distributes it for you to iTunes, to other platforms to be found and obviously all you need to do is download the app and it's 100% free. Now, obviously, uh, even though the technology on the phones have gotten better with microphones, it's still a cell phone quality recording. So even because it's free, because of all of that, you're gonna you're not going to have the sound quality as you are with something like this when you get some mixers and things like that when you want to actually get big, you know, a nice little microphone. Uh, but that's one route that you can do. Another route is you can simply use whatever voice recording software you have on your Mac or on your uh, Windows laptop. Uh, You can use one of those voice recorders from Staples uh, or whatever, uh, you know, the uh, the uh, the office supply store, local supply store you got. And they're cheap. You can get one from Walmart for 10, 20 bucks, uh, record an MP3, upload it to iTunes and you've got yourself a podcast. Uh, There's a bunch of audio software available out there for you to be able to edit the, 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 the audio. Uh, I mean, there's free stuff and obviously you get what you pay for or don't pay for. Uh, But uh, you literally need your voice recording. I mean, this even just comes with a voice MP3 recorder. You, you put record on, you, you know, on your cell phone and you record it. I know that there's a voice note recorder on iPhones and Android. Throw that bad boy on, you know, talk about whatever subject you're looking to talk about and throw it up there. Uh, There are a number. And again, you don't have to do it for long. If you know enough about a subject and you can talk for five to seven minutes, that's going to give true value. uh, Use that. And then you have the option of Facebook. Everybody's got a Facebook, right? You've got the ability to do uh, a live video, right? A live video, download the live video, extract the audio, and now you have a podcast. Yeah, awesome. So you can pretty much, I didn't realize I had that app, but um, that's awesome. So you can pretty much get started 
right away. Download an app and away you go. Doesn't matter. Yep. Anything you want, you know, and, exactly. and a little a little ninja tactic. If you stick in your head, headphones with the microphone, you'll be able to do it that way as well. And you're going to get maybe a little bit better quality as well if you've got a decent, decent headset. Uh, but uh, that's another way that you can do it, and it will help with noise cancellation of the surrounding, uh, you know, buzzing or whatever you may experience from the ambient sound. Yeah, yeah. Um, that was absolutely awesome, mate, the insight we got there. Um, and the bit, I think the biggest thing that I've realized that we do is we have fun making these podcasts. They are, you know, yeah. they're never a chore. They're just something now that I look forward to because you can feel – you know, you can feel the things come together. We got the downloads we're getting. They all surprise me. I mean, if one person can listen to my voice, that amazes, <laughs> amazes me. Um, but is there anything else before we before we um, call it a day? Is there anything else you wanted to add about your podcast and about your, maybe your coaching or anything like that? Yeah, sure. Well, first and foremost, when it comes to creating your content, don't get stuck on on having to provide so much value that you're giving away the farmhouse. Okay. Because these are meant for people to listen to on the drive to work on their runs in the morning or walks in the morning. And, and uh, maybe when they get a little bit of chance during the day to, to listen, because when you first start out, you're not going to get a lot of listeners. You're, you're going to, you're going to have maybe a handful of people who actually pick you up in the beginning. Uh, we've just been so lucky because we've already got a network of people that follow us uh, that started listening and we kind of, you know, grew quite, quite, uh, quite large in, in a short amount of time. Uh, and when I say large, I'm using that loosely. We're not like in the thousands or anything of listeners yet, but, yeah. uh, but typically, typically podcasts don't grow as fast as, as ours, uh, has so far with, with literally no budget. Um, but, uh, but, but don't overthink the content. Okay. Do research, a little bit more research. Read a couple of books on the subject that you're looking to talk about. And what you'll notice is there are a few things in those in those uh, areas when you're doing research that you can kind of break down into, into multiple subjects. So, for example, all right, I, I came up with an email based on reading a book, and that – that subject also is going to be a, a subject of a po podcast uh, in the future. The The book I'm reading is called The Boron Letters. Must read. I mentioned it on the last podcast. Absolutely brilliant. Boron Letters. It's about Gary Halbert, uh, a amazing copywriter from the 80s, uh, 70s and 80s, who ended up going to prison for mail fraud. Uh, that, that just gets uh, – he. It wasn't for the copy he wrote, okay? <laughs> he didn't go to jail for the copy that he wrote, but amazing copywriter. And what he did was he wrote letters to his son from prison about life, about business, and copywriting. And uh, he talked about in this first four letters in the book, he talks about health, about how important health is, about keeping up your health. Otherwise, uh, you're you're just gonna die early and and have you know been have a wasted life, uh, and how important that is to actual business because at the end of the day we're all in in trying to build a business uh, to make money and and to be able to enjoy life. What good is making a ton of money if I end up dying at at the age of 45 from a heart attack, right? So. Uh, we're going to talk about in a in a later program maybe uh, about health to an entrepreneur. So you know, in my research uh, for another subject, I was able to pick up an idea for po a podcast. Uh, so when you're reading, when you're doing research, pick up on those things that you can talk about, and it doesn't have to be long and drawn out. It can be short little snippets. Uh, just provide your own opinions, your own insights, and go with it. Don't be afraid to share something that is controversial either. Uh, you know, I, I often on my Facebook page, and uh, I may offend some listeners, but I don't care. Wayne knows I don't care. <laughs> yeah, okay. uh, <laughs> uh, but I make fun of liberals quite a bit. And and uh, I know a lot of my European friends, hint, hint, wink, wink, Wayne, uh, are, are liberal. 
Uh, and I posted, I posted this picture today. Okay. I saw it was today. <laughs> it was a t-shirt. It's a t-shirt that says liberalism is a mental disease. Okay. <laughs> but don't, you know, and, and I say that because not because I truly believe that it's a mental disease, but because a, I know it's going to get a rise out of somebody and B it's going to cause some traction, but B, but C it does, it does provide a point I'm trying to make. I disagree with liberalism. I think it's a terrible ideology and I have a number of reasons for it. But uh, I, I talk about those things because I know it's gonna cause a reaction. And if you can muster up the, the strength and the, and the huevos, you know, that's Spanish for, for balls, uh, <laughs> if you can muster up uh, enough confidence to actually talk about difficult subjects that people want to stay with. You know, Wayne, I I don't know if they said this in your house, but it was a common it was a common saying here in the states. There's two things you never talk about: politics and religion. Those are the two subjects I want to always talk <laughs> <Yeah>. about. Okay? <laughs> uh, and people and, and it will divide, it will cause a divide in your audience, but you'll notice this that the people who are with you, even if they disagree with you, because there are a lot of liberals who love my posts, even when I'm making fun of them, because, uh, because they stand up for certain principles of free speech and, and being able to say what's on your mind, and we can disagree and have fun poking fun at one another, and it develops this much stronger base uh, instead of just kind of playing the middle. I don't like playing the middle. That's kind of, right. it, it's just dumb. Uh, but but when, when you're starting out, if you're afraid of tackling, you know, difficult subjects, uh, tackle about things about that you know about and, um, and get started that way. Now, if you guys need to learn about, you know, good tools, ways to promote your, your podcast, you want to get started with a distribution network to where, you know, uh, putting your podcast out once, and then it goes to multiple outlets to get maximum effectiveness and max maximum reach. Coming up with ideas to build uh, more clientele for your business. Uh, you can get me uh, for coaching. You can contact me from the link that will be available in this episode uh, below, and we can talk about what your needs are and see if it's something that would be beneficial to your business. That would be awesome. And I can just say, working with you, Rob, um, I couldn't imagine doing the podcast with anyone. That sounds a bit strange, doesn't it? <laughs> it sounds a bit weird. <laughs> but no, like, uh, the fun we have, I'm pretty sure when when we record these, there's tons of things, that, you know, outtakes, and I feel like we're on the podcast all the time. And the, the fun we have before the things even start is fantastic. So um, I've really enjoyed asking the questions for a change, Rob. And... If anyone has any questions about running a podcast, do not ask me. I have no idea. Um, <laughs> I just listen to I just listen to this man, and we will catch you. Is there anything else? Any anything else we need to cover that I've not covered? On a no, not at all. I think I think maybe we can end on the oh. fact that that uh, that Wayne, you've been uh, doing a great job. I've been having a ton of fun as well on these, and uh, I can't wait to see where we get to uh, in the near future with this podcast and see what kind of guests we can get on because uh, we do have quite a few uh, of really, really incredible guests uh, coming up over the next few weeks. Awesome. And I'm super, super excited about getting some guests on here um, and just add an, an extra level of um, confidence, hopefully, to what, what we're trying to do. For me. Yeah, my man. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it's been awesome. Have a good, fantastic day, everyone, and we will see you on the next podcast. Take it easy, guys. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.